Uh, Mr. Mr. Gale, this is Chet Peterson from the U.S. Embassy here in Patna. Uh, I'm calling you pursuant to the application for a tourist for India with further travel to Karat. We can only accept your status as a U.S. citizen as we have no official records regarding your Karate citizenship. Furthermore, I must legally advise you against traveling into Karat. We have no official diplomatic presence in Karat due to the civil unrest with the Golden Path. In regards to your intent to bring with you the cremated remains of one Ishwari Gale, you will need to bring with you the passport for the deceased, the original and the yeah. Passport. What's happening? Patna, boy. Patna. Patna, me ja. Parva hai, to baad me ja. Lekin hamari range me. Hey. Maine kaha baad me ja. Kuch hai? Abhi tak kuch nahi. Koi baat nahi, boss. Koi baat nahi. Le lo. Job. Mil gaya? Kuch mil gaya? Aao. Chalo, chalo. Bas se niklo. Hey, rok. Rukho. Saale. I distinctly remember saying, stop the bus. Yes, stop the bus. Not shoot the bus. I'm very particular with my words. Stop. Shoot. Stop. Shoot. Do those words sound the same? That it got out of control. I'm sorry, I didn't hear you. What'd you say? It got out of control. Got out of control. I hate when things get out of control. Oh! One fucking chopper, you couldn't fucking do that! There's a silver lining. You didn't completely fuck it up. Get up, boy. I recognize those eyes anywhere. <laughs> I'm so sorry about this. This was supposed to be. Well, not this. We have a party waiting for you, but I don't think I know your name. Who is this? Hmm? Is this your plus one? <laughs> Strong, silent type. I like it. I am terribly embarrassed about all of this. This was supposed to be very simple, but you know, if you give food to monkeys, they just throw their shit at each other. You know? Oh, would you hold this? For just a moment, I want to get a little... Yeah, right into the camera. There we are. Awesome. Don't worry about a thing, my boy. This will soon be behind us. 
It'll be off on a grand adventure. Because I have cleared my calendar for you. You and I are gonna tear shit up! <laughs> should I stay or should I go? Give my congratulations to Ashley on your next visit home. I must say, Paul, your little corner of Kiratu is rather beautiful. I expected more. Chains and wailing, but knowing you somewhere around here is a dark place where the secrets flow like the blood. <laughs> that wry smile betrays you again, Diplume. <laughs> well, go on, take the bloody bag off his head. Again, terribly sorry for what happened before. This is more what I had in mind. So, fresh start. Introductions. RJ Gale, our guest of honor. Paul, our very gracious host. The little monkey, whose name I still don't know. And, of course, Pagan Men. You really don't remember me, do you? Your mother, she never spoke of me, never mentioned me. We'll change all that. Paul, I need cash. <laughs> uh, how much do you need? All of it. Thank you. Here we go. Ah. Hmm? All right. With this, with the smile. <clears throat> That's you. That's me. Although I'm not so sure anymore. Now, your mother. Your mother, on hey. the other hand, she understood me. She knew me in a way that no one ever did. That takes me back. The last time I saw Ishwari was years ago. She told me she loved me. Women, they can do that. They can tell you they love you in the moment and mean it. Men, on the other hand, no, men only really love you in hindsight. And too much distance is built up. So, when your mother decided to flee to the United States with you on her hip, I couldn't help but blame myself. But then I realized it's not me. No. It was the fucking golden path. Those fucking terrorists, they ruin everything. Like dinner. Did no one ever teach you that it's rude into text at the table? Let's see here. You've been fun. Really, guys? We're not checking for these anymore? Ah, I'm with RJ Gale. You'll love this part. Help. <laughs> A text for help. You don't text for help, you cry for help. So come on, you're gonna cry for help. You're gonna do something, you're gonna do it right. Here we go. Go on. Cry for help. Cry for help. Help? Oh, pathetic. No, cry for help. Help! You mean it, boy. Help! From your diaphragm! Help! Help! Shh, 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 shh. Now we listen. Nothing. I'm afraid they're not coming for you, buddy. <laughs> oh! Find out what he knows. Terrorists, right? Now, please, stay right here. Enjoy the crab rangoon. Don't move. I will be right back. Yuma, we need to talk. Yes, well, I don't think we're going to be sticking around for too long around here. Hello, and welcome to Far Cry 4, following quickly after the success of Far Cry 3 on the channel, of course. Uh, let us... Hello. I'm going to try to find more collectibles this time. Well, when I say collectibles, fuck? that's not the word for it. Uh, things to sell. <coughs> I did a terrible job looting people last time. <clears throat> and my throat's a bit 
off, so I'm gonna not do the reading for this. Um, it's not too hard to read here. You should be able to get these pretty quickly. Um, pretty simple stuff. Excuse me. Our, uh... <coughs> Excuse me. Our loving host seems to have a child of his own. Well, uh, yes. The Bell Tower is our new radio towers. Let's go find the source of that screaming, shall we? Jigale. My name is Sabal. I'm with the Golden Path. Golden Path? We're friends. I knew your father. 
We're here to rescue you, son of Mohan. What about Darpan? You are our priority. We need to get you out of here safely, no matter the cost. Darpan would understand. Now stay close. Shit, they know we're here. The door! Quickly! Anjay, with these doors open, I need you to keep your head down and make a run for the truck. Move as fast as you can. Understand? Yeah, yeah, I got it. One, two, three! Thank you! Okay, here we go. Straight into the fire, much like Jason. Let's get out of here. Ooh, that's an elephant. Hello. Hmm. Interesting. What the hell? There's a gun underneath the dashboard. Use it. Got it. All right. Aiming for the barrel. That clearly didn't work. Are we safe? <laughs> Probably not. On your right! Shoot! Damn! Fucking hell! Uh, watch out! Right there, LJ. If you're hearing this, respond. LJ Gale, respond, please. Hello? Thank you. This is Sabal. Where are you? I don't know. Fuck. The driver's dead. Okay, listen to me. Look around. You should be able to see a tower nearby. I need you to make your way there. I'm on my way to secure it now. Head to the tower. Okay. You can do this, Ajay. Of course we can. Now, I mentioned in... Of course, we know all this already. I mentioned in Far Cry 3 that I like the fact that Jason was just a random dude thrown into this. He went skydiving, he got caught by pirates, he got really screwed in the end. Um, and he had to become a warrior through the Tatao. He had to have a mystical gift literally given to him for him to become a warrior. He just wasn't a warrior. Now, I don't know if it really talks about Ajay's past or not. Uh, in this particular game. But from what I can tell, he should be technically in the same boat. And yet, from moment one that we get out of that car crash, here we are, with no problem, killing anyone who gets in our way. Uh, oh, I almost called you Jason.
Um, I also don't know how it's going to go for Far I will be doing Far Cry 5 after this, by the way. It's just come out. I've just picked it up. And that'll show you how far off this recording is going to be from when I actually upload it. Um, Far Cry 5 just came out. It'll be uh, next up on the list for me to record. Um, I don't know if it'll be next on the list uh, for me to upload after this game, however. Um, I'm not sure what the plot of that one is either, but from what I can tell you, you start off as a deputy. So I guess that kind of gives you more reason to be a warrior kind of individual, but I know nothing of the plot so far. Other than, you know, cult. I will find you, Gale. You find me, Gale. Where are you hiding, coward? Come on, you can take them. He's close. Keep searching. Well, that was a bit closer than I would have liked. <laughs> Why don't you come out, Gale? Right here for you, buddy. I don't think we had a move body command in the last one, but I can't remember. I believe that um, our skill points come as just regular skill. Ooh, maybe not. I don't remember. It has been quite some time since I've actually played through Far Cry 4. So it may take a little while for me to get back into the swing of things. Excellent, we've still got our camera. Looks to be exactly the same camera. <coughs> Interestingly enough. Back, thank you. Oh, I've always been terrible. longer. Excellent. Well, let's search these guys real quick, because again, I'm going to try to keep up ahead on money this time. Plus we want to kill this thing. Hunting does make a return. I actually see a couple boxes down here while I'm at it. Yoink, and... Oops. Yoink, there we go. Fix up my arm real quick. 
Oh, let's roll. I'm glad that was slightly deep. <laughs> Are you busy? You don't mind me calling, do you? Fantastic. You really are an excellent listener. Look, no hard feelings about the crab rangoon. I know it's not to everyone's taste. But you'll be pleased to know I had the chef executed for his incompetence. Or was it his family we killed? <laughs> Regardless, next time I can promise you a better spread. That's the last time I'm kidnapping a fucking TV celebrity chef. Guys. <laughs> Almost reminds me of, um, what was it? Was it Just Cause 3? Whatever the newest one to come out was, had David Tennant as a kidnapped celebrity being forced to read video <laughs> announcements for the evil dude. Yeah. yeah. Just made me think of that randomly. <laughs> ah. Jump it, RJ. Blimey, you just about didn't make it, man. Hello. I was gonna say, as soon as you throw down a rope, I will. I'm amazed you made it all the way here on your own. Sabal is waiting for you near the tower. Well, if you're going to give me the title Son of Mohan, surely you should expect a little bit more of me. <coughs> Excuse me. Go, go, go. Don't run with sharp objects. There we are. That should do it. You made it. Namaste. Good job, son of Mohan. Why are you guys helping me? You're the son of Mohan Kali. You may not know it, but that name carries a lot of weight in Kirat, especially for the Golden Bath. Are those army guys still looking for me? Bagan men will stop at nothing to get you back. Damn. Some of Bagan's men managed to track us. They'll be here any second. We're in for a fight. I like the spirit of the woman over there, she's amazing. Tough man to kill, brother. 
That's a good thing, right? How did you know to find me? He saw Pagan's chopper nearby. He's never down this far south, and I wanted to know why. Lucky for you, we were in the area when we got Darpan's text. Well, we're here. Welcome to Banapur, home of the Golden Path. Who's this? Where's Darpan? He didn't make it. This is Ajay Gale, Mohan's son. Let me understand. Dapan's dead? Hmm? And you brought me this? I'm not involved in, in whatever this is. I'm just looking for Lakshmana. We're in the middle of a fucking war. We don't have time for tourists. What was I supposed to do? Just leave him there? I'm sorry, brother. Amita's a little touchy. I'll talk to her. As for Lakshmana, it sounds like it could be a temple or shrine. But if that's the case, it's in the north. The north is enemy territory, and we can't get you there, not yet. Go and clear your head. Come find me when you're ready. Hmm? Well then, welcome to Banapur. <clears throat> now we've got two missions we could do here. One for Sabal and one for Amita. We're going to do Amita's first because this going to teach us how to do the uh, harvesting of the animals. Sabal says I shouldn't be doing this. I am teaching you to protect yourself. Ah, the tourist. I'm Amita. This is Badra. Hi. Keep working. Look, I overreacted back there. We're at war. We keep losing soldiers. The work keeps piling up. Is there anything I can do? I'm not a soldier, but I want to help. Okay. Sure. There's a farm not far from here. Kanan runs it, but she's old, and she could use your help with some wild animals. I need you to keep the hides intact, so use this. What are you... Pick it up. Try again. Very good. Now, that would certainly be different from the way we did it before if we have to use the bow. Hmm. Okay, so we steer... Yeah, slowly. It's a bit different than last time. a bit more difficult this time around. But nothing we can't really handle. Especially not for a short distance like this. Well, this will probably be a longer episode just because it's going to be the first one. Ow! Amita sent me over. She said you might have some kind of wild animal problem. Yeah, I think she might. Hey, Amita, I have no idea what I'm supposed to do here. <sighs> Wolves are a common nuisance for Kanan Farm. She killed off a number of them, but this year they're especially aggressive, and I'm worried about her. There's a den nearby. Clear it out, huh? I think Kanan has supplies stockpiled somewhere on her farm that you can use. 
And Ajay, skin your kills. We can always use the belts. Fair enough. I don't... That's my knife, that's why. I was like, I don't appear able to aim my weapon. Terrible shot. That's better. Oh, okay, so clean kills get us double the scans. Got it. I'm with you, game. Look on us. Loop bag almost full. I had to make a stop off when I get back to the village to speak to Swell. Oh. Nice. Oh, I can skin ones that are already dead. How do you like that? Ah. Let's get a spare wolf skin in there. Oh, that was so stupid of me. I don't know what I was thinking there exactly. <coughs> Foolish man. Geronimo. Well done, RJ. Oh, I like that you still get the sound of the water coming off of him. properly this time from way over here. I said properly this time. Now we shouldn't have to worry about the den. And that should be enough wolf skins for right now. I'll go ahead and grab this one while we're here. Just to be safe. the bow and arrow today. For once. Yeah, and we're full on stuff. I'm gonna have to sell some things once we get back to the shop. Or if it lets me craft after this mission, I can make a couple things with the wolf skin, hopefully. Some, some loot. Badra, how are you? Good. I, uh, brought you these pelts. I thought maybe you could use them. Hmm. It's a good Ajay. But you keep them. She has enough for her Tanka paintings. I'm sorry, Tanka what? This one is about the life of a guru. This one is about the demon Yalung. This one is about the goddess Kira. And that one is about Badra. The next Tarun Matara. 
that Tarun Matara is a living goddess, if you believe Sabal. It's no life for a child, being treated as an object, thing. <sighs> Thanks for your help. Later, I'll show you how to put those to good use. Later, she says. Can I? Ah, here's skills and crafting. Here we go. Excellent. I do have new stuff I can craft. Oops, that's not, not quite what I meant to do. Okay, I can only make a new wallet. I didn't. I thought it said I could make something else. Oh well. Right. If fast travel is now available. back over to Bampur and quickly talk to Sabal. To him. He fell. Pagan floods the airways and we have to endure his bullshit. Enough is enough! I told him to climb up the old bell tower, take over the transmitters, hijack the broadcast locally. Except... I can do it. Way to step up, brother. There's nobody guarding it, but it's a tricky climb. Promise me you won't fall. I promise. I won't. So now we've got our first mission to go and deal with the radio towers. Well, they're gold bell towers here, but they're essentially the same thing at this point. Did you say something about Voss? have to pick up another weapon at some point. Oh wait, you're a merchant, aren't you? Yeah, you are. Can I switch out my recurve bowl with you? Here we go, sidearms. That's right, I get this automatically because of my thing. I forgot about that. Get a suppressor on that baby. Extended magazine. Alright, now let's take a look at our regular weapons, see what we can get. Get the MP34 for now. Just so I have something on the off chance. Beautiful. So now I've got my handgun for, uh,. That's not what I asked for. A handgun for self and my MP for in case of emergency fighting. Beautiful. More of the golden path. Oh yes, the next thing that was new here, the grappling hook. 
<laughs> Help us get up a few things in style. Now we can't use this for every cliff, only on specific ones that it says we can use it for. But it's still pretty fucking sweet. to the top, just like last time. New collectibles, the propaganda posters. Oops, excuse me. Smashy, smashy. I suppose. Up you go. There you are, RJ. This announcement is brought to you by the Ministry of Public Affairs and Social Hotline. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You are welcome to all social gatherings, as long as they conform to the guidelines set by Fagan Minmin. These standards are set for your own well and are designed to promote a safe and harmonious society. God, I couldn't get out there for a second. Alright, up we go. works on this one. saying that the driving here was going to be a bit more difficult, don't I? I got 
got the first package. Great. One more to go. Good luck. Good luck. Up you go. Alright, I'll try. Let's see what we can find, shall we? Blue markers are of, of are of course the golden path. Just in case you need help uh, telling the difference between the people shooting at you and not. correctly. Come in. Well, I would call bullshit on that, RJ, but you know. Want to see if we need any monkey skins? Oh, we did pick up skins. Excellent. Not again. Ooh. I'll take those, thank you. Another monkey. Let's see if I can craft anything else right now. No, I need to find another stag. Oh, if I get one more of those tapers, I could have done a weapon holster. Damn. I'll be back in a minute. I'm gonna go get a one more taper tapier. Whatever the hell it is.
Alright, and with that, I've used up all of the skins I can currently use. Didn't take too long to find another tape here. <coughs> Let's head towards the L on our map. Alright, and welcome back now that we're over here. Um, you might recognize, if you've played the Far Cry games before, you may recognize the man we're about to speak to. He was actually someone we killed in Far Cry 2. Or, well, clearly thought we killed in Far Cry 2. Welcome! I am Longinus. And you! You are AJ! Welcome to my church! Away from church! That sells guns? Of course! For the meek shall inherit the earth, my friend. All they need are some good guns. Revelation 5.5. It is the most invigorating read. And one of the elders saith unto me, Weep not! Behold the Lion of the tribe of Judah, the Root of David, hath prevailed to open the book and loose the seven seals thereof. Uh, it is I... our Savior. It is our Savior returned to us as a lion, a warrior. So I started thinking to myself, when the Son of God is reborn, what gun would he use? When Christ returns to break the seven seals and bring about the rapture, he returns as a lion, yes? A lion needs teeth. What gun would Jesus choose? Deuteronomy 32, 47? For there are no empty words for you, but your very life. Or maybe... Revelations 19, 11. The discretion of a man deferreth his anger. I don't know what you're talking about. A soldier knows. A soldier always knows. For we have seen the rapture and survived it. You need guns to do righteous work, AJ. For every gun is a Bible. For every bullet, a sermon. And for every radio tower that you free from pagans' lies, I will give you something. A reward. It is the will of God. Here. This is for the first one. Vanderport is under attack! We need fighters here Sabah, now! What's happening? We're under attack! Stay away! Oh, shit! He said to them, go forth into all the world and proclaim the gospel to the whole of creation! Indeed so, Longinus. Uh, if you don't know who Long where that name comes from in the Bible, look it up. It's fairly oops, excuse me. It's a fairly interesting story as well. I wish you could remember what it was like back then, Audrey. Your mother and I, with you on her hip, oh, those were the days. She was never happier than she was back then, and I should say the same for myself. We had such plans, not just for our little family, but for Kirat. It wasn't always like this. I long for those days, but then it's too late. I tried, I really, really did, but this place is ruinous. Try not to let them drag you down, Andre. Ishwari didn't send you back here for that. Yeah. <laughs> 
for me on that one. Focus syringe 2, use it to dodge bullets. Interesting. So looks like the syringes are much more useful this time than they used to be. How can I help? Damn it! Keep your head down and save whoever you can. I'm not far. I'll be there soon with help. People need to see her. It'll comfort them. She's just a child, Sabal, and she's terrified. I'll take her home, and then we'll worry about the people, okay? Thank you. You're okay. <laughs> this is what we get for rescuing Ajay. We hit Paul's house, he slaughters a village. This isn't on Ajay, it's on me. We can't worry about that now. They took the outpost, and they have hostages. Fine. The outpost first. Without it, we're cut off from the others. Come. 
Yep, those two say. There we are. Brother, we need to talk. Sabal, what is it? I'm needed in Banapur. An emitter is focused on the outpost. So it's up to you to help with the hostages. I know it's a lot to ask, but they must be rescued before we take back outpost. But Amita said that... The outpost is important, but our top priority should be the lives of those hostages. The people of Kirat depend on the Golden Path for protection. We cannot let them down. Rescue the hostages, brother. Fair enough. Uh, but with that, I'm going to call it here for right now. Uh, we will be back uh, once I get over there. But uh, that's going to be it for this episode. So, thank you guys for joining me, and I'll see you guys next time. See you then.